I've sunk an enemy destroyer. For just one game, I want to sail the seas relentless. Battles fierce, our ships are great. Through the tides and waves, defenseless. For just one game, I'll be like Regal over the bowl. No fear within these waters, conquer sea and heart of gold. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I got the Taylor Rigolo uh, for you right now. Fun match, four kills in this game. Pretty, pretty awesome. And I really, really enjoyed it. Someone asked me to play it and we'll take a look at it with my thoughts on it as well. Before we get a like, subscribe, bubble, and below, appreciate all the supporters of the channel and the community. Building a great play. We're going to do another premium DD giveaway at uh, 4,000 subs. And as always, hope you guys enjoy it and let me know in the comments below. But we're going to have fun. Let's learn something from it at the same time. So let's just see what this thing can do. Until we go, though, one of the best things I like about it are the guns and the torpedoes. The torpedoes you can see right now launching out to 13.5 kilometer range right there pretty pretty darn awesome and they do a pack a wallop and you're going to see right now before i read a little bit more but the torpedoes literally are 13,900 damage 13 and a half kilometers 90 second reload which is great 56 knots uh, speed but the reaction time is 6.6 .6 seconds which is pretty pretty wild and there i mean detection is 1.0 uh, uh, kilometers and man they're so unsuspecting and, and you're going to see right here what these things can really really do and let's see what's going to happen right here. We got an unsuspecting maybe cruiser that's using its smoke for cover. Unfortunately, there's one, there's two, and then three splash one. There's the first kill of the game, and that is the power of the torpedoes of the Taylor Regolo. And man, just and he packs a wallop right there. And I'll just go ahead and sum up what I like about it. It's got the guns for the sap secondary shells, or sorry, sap shells, sorry. Four sets of them, dual barrel. The reload is is okay. It's manageable, so you don't really have to build into it. You kind of got that club bear, you know, style of reload, which is okay. I like it. You already talked about the torpedoes. It's got the exhaust generator, which means that you need to go undetected immediately, as long as you're without outside of hydro and radar range. Boom! You just hit the thing, and the exhaust smoke generator covers you and conceals you right there. You disappear, kind of like a submarine. I'm not going to get into that. The engine boost is pretty awesome. Twenty five percent increase for only about 25, 26 seconds, but it's enough just to get you out of dodge and out of situations or even juke shells for what you need to do it and you got a lot of them six of them which is pretty darn decent i've got rpf build right here so it gives me kind of that first look first kill ability to keep the guns pointed in the di direction of the threat which is what all i that's all i really need because look at the speed i've got 43 knots max right now and i haven't even hit engine boost so very very powerful very very strong in that regard so i like that in, uh, that that aspect of the utility regular right there and you can see right now i think i'm going to be facing off with a destroyer because i got rpf guns facing in the right direction and with my speed i can close that distance fairly quickly and that gives me a very good advantage and lets me take the uh, the fight to the enemy right now we're going to see sap shells hitting them right off the bat taking about ooh, 2200 damage right right there and then we hit the exhaust smoke generator now here's my problem my mistake is I forgot he had 5.5 kilometer hydro and nobody spotted me. I thought that him firing with somebody would spot me, but you can't rely on your teammates here. Sometimes nobody spotting you. I'm the literally the only one spotting in the middle of the map right there. So I'm going to switch to HE. Look at what the HE can do. 3,500 damage with there. Four sets of those 135 millimeter guns. Angling and everything doesn't do anything. They penetrate up to 23 millimeters of armor. So man, this these things are a powerful, powerful combination. Now here's what I got to do in this situation. Right now. I'm almost dead. He's got that super heal. All I can do is really turn away, hit the engine boost, and get out of here. I've got to break that 5.5 kilometer range of his hydro, and then I can go undetect him and have some ability to do something. So right there, finally someone spotting for me. Um, and he can't see me, so I'm out of his hydro range. Now I'm going to hit and get out of here. I'm going to damage con and see I can still got the back two turrets firing. So that's a good thing. I still, even with four sets of guns, I still have two turrets in the back to fire. That's better than one, and, and it really gives me the ability to keep firing while running away. Now I'm going to get all four guns to bear on him. Finally, someone's spotting him for me. And you can just see, look at that, just two sets of guns does four damage imagine if i had four guns on him and just look at the amount of damage i can pummel him he's got that that increased heal but unfortunately lucian just cannot get out and break uh, contact and boom splash two eighty-six thousand damage right out the first six minutes right there and that is really just sums up everything that you saw the regola do right there torping denying the area and then dd hunting and it's just incredibly incredibly powerful of what you see right there off the bat so 
while we're sailing around capping all these uh, little uh, power-ups here, we're really read a little bit about the Teal Regolo and what uh, things, uh, the history of it and what it is designed to do and what you think it can really uh, maybe inc- help your uh, gameplay out a little bit better. So, Tier 10 Italian Destroyer Teal Regolo is the culmination of the gameplay developed over the line. She gains increased offensive capabilities with her improvements to artillery, torpedoes, and maneuverability. With access to unique consumables and semi-armor-piercing shells, SAP, the Teal Regolo is a formidable gun destroyer, as you can see right earlier right off the bat right there so you can see a teal regola uses 135 millimeter 1938 turrets the same ones carried by the adratico a teal regola gains an increase an extra turret and a slightly faster 5.5 second reload which increases her damage per minute on both sap and he shells her turrets turn slowly with 18 seconds 180 degree turn time her sap shells have high alpha damage and can penetrate 38 millimeter armor plating which you're going to see later on uh, plays a good role it cannot light fires, but they can also ricochet at sharp angles. So her HE shells feature modest damage, can only penetrate 23 millimeters armor, and have a 9% fire chance, which is more than enough than what I need as a destroyer player. As with her other Italian destroyers, Italian Rigo has the lowest base firing range of any destroyer at her tier, a 9.6 kilometer range. It can be extended with the main battery A expert skill to 11.5, which is how you see I've built it right here. So the battle performance of Teal Regal serves as the role of an ambush destroyer, as you saw with the Lucians, as well as a short-range damage farmer. Ambushing in- enemy destroyers is encouraged through the usage of high alpha damage sap shells and high health pool. You can see we're up to 33,000 dam- uh, health pool, or 39,000, my God, uh, especially with these armor, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, arms race power-ups. But normally I start out while at 30,000, which is pretty darn good for me. The other one is her exhaust smoke generator and an emergency engine power. It helps her out trade and delete destroyers in knife fights, as you can see we earlier we played with the Lucians, while also being used to escape without dying. With her short range, it's a considerable downside because it allows players to go unspotted once her the hull exits uh, gun range. Her slow, long range, and low detectability Italian torpedoes, though, are useful at denying key areas, as you saw earlier in the video. When not able to an- ambush enemy destroyers, Atil Regolo is a formidable open water damage dealer. While her range is low for a gunboat destroyer. Her high sap damage per minute encourages active use of her guns at range. Emergency engine power allows her to dodge shells easily with the use of propulsion and high speed. Exhaust smoke generator allows her to cut the line of sight when needed and allows her to deal damage from smoke for the consumable duration. Due to the high many char- sorry, due to the many charges she gets, Atelio Regola can accomplish both roles in a single match according to the situation. As you can see right there, that's exactly how we utilized her, and it really, really is a game changer in my personal opinion. Especially with RPF nowadays, you can really know where those destroyers are at. You can detect a lot of that before you're going to be engaged because our cons- our detection is so high kind of like that Marceau and uh, Colbert kind of style gameplay. Having RPF will give, at least gives me a heads up as to where I need to point my guns in a safe direction to maximize that gun power because it does have four sets of guns. And that, that alone right there already gives you kind of on a one-up leg against these destroyers that only have maybe three, maybe two facing you at odd angles and you can see Lucian I really only had two turrets but man if you if there, it has to angle against you it can only get one turret to bear on you and you can see the high alpha damage of the HE and the high sap shells it really does play a ma- massive uh, damage problem for a lot of destroyers and you can see I launched torpedoes right there and I kind of just willy nilly aimed right off the bat just shot them in the direction of the Stalingrad and keep your eye on the mini map you're going to see what those torpedoes can really do to just unsuspecting cruiser players as you saw earlier with the first one with the Michelangelo and now you're going to see what it can do against the Stalingrad. Now, right here, we're already facing off with the... Um we have a Des Moines ahead of us. We have a Colombo also to our left or a little further away in the distance. But we're going to see if we can support our Lepanto here. He uses his smoke generator, but I believe he might be caught in the radar. I'm not really sure because he's still getting fired upon. Yep, he must be inside of the radar range. So... Um, let's see if we can support him a little bit. Now, I'm not going to fire right off the bat because that Des Moines is still out of my gun range. Again, the gun range isn't as great. You got 11.5. Now he's within it. But I don't want to give up my position of such a low health. Now, if I had more health, I'd probably fire right now. Now, keep your eye on the, the mini map right here. So we got our torpedoes almost on cooldown. 90 second reload is really great. Arms rates helps a little bit better. And we can launch an unexpected Lepon- uh, the uh, Des Moines here. Keep your eye on the mini map. Watch that Stotland Red. Let's see what happens here. One torpedo, two, and three. Boom! 
boom, splash three, and that, I was so shocked. That's why I had to turn back and look. It's like, what did I just do right there? And I just kind of willy-nilly shot those things, and they still pack a wallop. Again, that six-second reaction time is still difficult for a lot of cruiser and battleship players. Now, we're going to hit that engine boost and get out of dodge. We do not want to play around with this Des Moines, and we're dodging shells, we're juking and all over the place, a shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. And now we also have to hit our exhaust smoke generator. I thought I could farm this guy, but again, nobody is spotting for me because look at the mini-map. Look where everybody else is right now behind islands. I don't know why people play like this. There's so many. It's randoms. Just go have fun. The whole purpose of shooting ships is shooting ships, not hide behind islands, right? Anyway, we got the RPF located, so at least I know where the Des Moines is heading. I have a general idea. You know, he's just going to charge in and get that um, uh, health uh, regenerator consumable. So we're going to see, again, there's the downside of being in the exhaust smoke generator. You're in a cloud that's moving, so you're easily detected of knowing where you're going. And second is you can't see anybody if nobody's spotting for you. So that's another downside. If you're a radar right now, you're screwed. I mean, you you are literally have to wait till the exhaust smoke generator gets out before you can see anything. So there it goes out right there. And I'm finally going to exit it. And now I can do my role as a destroyer player. I'm spotting. So right there, here we go. Des Moines notices health pools at 20,000. We can literally melt this guy with the sap shells, but we're going to wait. We're going to see if we can get in a better angle to shoot these torpedoes and maybe get some torpedo hits. And we're doing our job. We're torpedoing. We're spotting. We're capping. We're doing everything a good destroyer player should be doing. Rule right there. He goes down to 5K, and that is just enough. 3K, that is just enough for me to pull the trigger and fire. And here we go. 3,000 health, and boom, splash the four. He goes down right there, and that is how the power of the sap, secondary, or sap shells do. And he only got one shot off right there. Not enough for him to do any kind of significant damage to us, and that is the power of the Regolo fairly fairly great and that the pros i like about this the ship it really really is the fact that the gun power is there you got sap shells he shells do great pen great damage you got the exhaust generator that allows you to go undetected just disappear off the map like a, a submarine would you get the engine boost you can do all the rolls of the speed 43 knots uh, just if you build for it and with that engine boost gets up to about 55 ish knots like colbert marceau you can run around the map, cap everything, spot everything, and do significant, significant damage to, like you said, ambushing destroyers and cruisers, and is very, very unique and formidable right there. So let me know what your thoughts are. The build will be at the end of the video. Let me know as if you like it, do you don't like it, what can be used for it, what can we do to get better. As always, hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, button below at our next uh, 4,000 hit point or sub uh, mile marker. We're going to do another giveaway right there. So first in the team, Rigolo very very powerful destroyer i definitely recommend it as always if you see me out there say hi and uh let's make a better place and i hope you learned something from it as always be be well and we'll see you soon take care cheers